Quickly, I just wanted to say that today's video might be kind of all over the place, kind of messy, because today we are helping my sister move, so we have a lot planned today, but I still really needed to film, so yeah. Hey guys, welcome back to Pretty Tomato, and today I am going to be giving you guys the results for week two of my PTGT Asia Photo Contest Cycle 2, and this week's theme was state slash country week. I got so many amazing photos, and I cannot wait to show you them all. Also, today we have Ladybug AG06 guest judging for us today. Now, I will leave her channel link in the description box. Now let's get into the photos. The first photo today is from the model Amber Lily and her photo will pop up right here. Now Amber Lily did the state of Massachusetts and she inspired her photo by the Boston Tea Party which obviously happened in Massachusetts. Now I love this photo, I love how great the lighting is, the colors are very vibrant, it's a great photo. I can tell you put so much more effort into this photo and I also noticed that the dolls in the background look like they're tall enough to be humans, like they look like a doll in a doll world. He did a great job on this photo but the only thing I would have to say about this photo is that the image itself, when you emailed it to me, was like really small. So when you zoom in, it becomes very blurry since it's not very many pixels. You know what I mean? Like I can't explain it very well. So what you could have done is maybe gone on like any editing software. I think pixlr.com can make you, can let you help you make the photo a lot bigger so that when I get it, like it's not tiny and like I don't have to zoom in and then when I zoom in it becomes blurry so yeah I hope that makes sense but that's honestly all I have to say you did a great job on this photo and yeah let's see what ladybug ag06 has to say hey guys it's me ladybug ag06 I'm going to be this week's guest judge I'm so happy that perky tomato asked me to guest judge so let's get right into the photo all right our first photo is from amber lily her photo pop up here she did massachusetts Amber Lily. This is super cute. I love the dress. I also love the tea box. The only thing I'd say is that if I didn't know it was supposed to be the Boston Tea Party, then I might not know those Massachusetts. So maybe you could try to incorporate Boston and or Massachusetts in there a bit better, but still super cute. The second photo today is from the model Serena and her photo will pop up right here. Now Serena did the city of Hong Kong in China and I love this photo. I love how monochromatic it is, like the blue sky is reflecting off her hair and the, her, the blue just matches the buildings and I love how her Chinese Chi Pao dress is matching the building perfectly. Hopefully I got the tone marks right, hopefully I'm not saying a whole different word. Um, wait, did you know I'm Chinese? I'm Asian, right? I look Asian. Do I look Asian? Did anyone even know I was Asian? Anyway, I love this photo. The only thing I'd have to say about this photo is that it doesn't really look like it's Hong Kong besides the dress that she's wearing. So maybe you could have added some more elements in there, like around the frame or something, I don't know, to make it look like it's more um, Hong Kong. And another thing is that her eyes are not very bright, so you could easily just brighten up her eyes on an editing software, but that's all I have to say. This photo is absolutely amazing. And the next photo is from Serena. She did Hong Kong. Her photo pop up here. Serena, this is super cute. I love the dress. I also love how she's taking photos. The only couple of things is number one, maybe you could find a photo so so she could be on the ground because it kind of looks like she's flying. And number two, I don't like it that when dolls close one eye that much, so maybe you could leave them both open, but still super cute. The third photo today is from the model Brianna and her photo will pop up right here. Now Brianna did the country of the United States of America and Brianna is hiking in one of our many national parks that we have and I love how the colors are nice and bright in this photo and the lighting is really good. It's very crisp and I love how her red sunglasses really match the color of the flag, like the red on the flag. And her crop top is yellow and green and then the grass behind her looks yellow and green so it kind of, kind of color coordinates and I love how her outfit looks like she's hiking like it looks like she has little khaki pants on or something and then you can see that she has a little a backpack on the only thing I have to say about this photo is that if I took away the American flag in the photo I would have no idea that this one was America so maybe you could have added like something else to clarify that it was America or something to just even hint that it was America like maybe like for instance you could um, add a sign maybe that like clarifies a certain national park that's popular and that everyone probably knows about Brianna. She did the USA. Brianna, this is super cute. I love the flag. I also love her outfits. I honestly have no complaints. This week you did a good job. 
fourth photo today is from the model Blair and her photo will pop up right here. Now Blair did the country of Ireland and I love how you took care to put the little flags in her eyes, like the Ireland flag in her eyes. Her hair looks really nice and shiny. The lighting's really good and like you can see it. She does look a little silent though, but some other things that I have to say about this photo is that this doesn't tell me too much about Ireland besides that we see its flag and it says Ireland, but maybe you could have like dressed her in something that looked a bit more Irelandish. Blank out. Okay, something more Irelandish and maybe um, get the hair out of her face because there is kind of a lot of hair in her face. So don't have little like hairs in your face. I, I've said that too much, haven't I? But this photo is still really cute and just maybe do some extra things to make it look more like Ireland and maybe like Google some pictures for information, but you still did a really good job on this photo. The next photo is from Blair. She did Ireland. Her photo pop up here. Blair, this is super cute. I love how much of the flag you put in there. You did such a good job editing that. I have no complaints this week. You did a good job. So Our fifth photo today is from the model Valentina and her photo will pop up right here. Now Valentina did the state of Florida and I, with even without the text in the corner that says Florida, I could probably really easily tell that this is Florida and you did a great job on this. Now the background that she's sitting in is absolutely so beautiful. I love it so much and I love how you incorporated the Florida oranges in the photo, like how Valentina is holding it and then there's some orange juice on her picnic blanket. I think that looks absolutely so cute and I just love how the colors work really well together and normally I don't encourage adding text over photos because normally it kind of looks a little tacky just a little but this time I think this looks really nice and it almost looks like a postcard so you did a great job on that now the only thing I'd have to say about this photo is that Valentina's face is a little dark so maybe you could have turned up shadows but at the same time it's the lighting is kind of harsh so what I would do is maybe soften it up but then turn up shadows a little bit you can do this in editing and you can also soften with like a like softener like um you can like make your own you can probably look that up but i still love this photo so much it's just a very memorable photo i think it looks so cute i love the little lake behind her our last photo is from valentina she did florida valentina this is super cute i love how she's on a picnic i also love her outfit i have no complaints this week you did good jobs So it has been an entire day and I'm so incredibly wiped out right now, but I'm still filming for you guys. Like I could go to sleep right now, but I have to film and edit. So yeah, and also I know the lighting is really bad. And the sixth photo today is from the model Cecile and her photo will pop up right here. Now Cecile did the state of Minnesota and she did the Minnesota Gophers football team. And I love this photo. I love how nice and bright her eyes are. Her outfit is literally so cute. I can clearly tell that she's a cheerleader just from right off the bat. It's so cute. I love how her hands are up to show that she is cheerleading the team. I think that's such a great idea. Now some more things I'd have to say about this photo is that I can clearly tell that you edited her in to your background and I can still see like a little bit of the wall or something that you took your um, model in front of. So maybe you could have not edited the background in, maybe just had it look like a football stadium. I don't know, like you could maybe make something or just have it on like a grass field. Also, maybe you could have added some more elements to clearly like make it tell like it's a football team, like maybe like just a simple like football thing. Like it looks like this. I think it's a football tee. I don't know. I'm feeling it. Everything, but yeah, something to make it look like it's football. And maybe you could have added some more cheerleaders to make it look like she's not like alone, or maybe like a crowd or something. But that's all I have to say. I feel like this photo is still really cute. Next photo is from Cecile. She did Minnesota. Her photo pop up here. Cecile, this is super cute. I love how you put her in the football team uniform. At least that's why it is. Um, the only thing I'd say is. That if you zoom in, it just feels a bit blurry. So maybe you could do green screen or something, but that's just me being picky, so it's still super cute. And The seventh photo today is from the model Bella and her photo will pop up right here. Now Bella, I love this photo. She did the state of Virginia and it's a really nice and crisp up close photo. Her hair looks nice and like neat. Um, the lighting is really good. Now some more things I'd have to say about this photo is that I feel like you could have put a little bit of more time into this photo to make it a bit more Virginia, like to make it look more like it's Virginia. Cause if you took that sign out of there, I would have no clue. And you have a lot of cool things there that you could represent. So maybe you could have just done a different idea and 
maybe put her in some different outfits and maybe not just have her holding a sign but I still really like this photo but I feel like you could have done something really cool with this date and I just didn't feel like it came out through this photo but I still really like it and I know you didn't have a lot of time to work with but you still did a great job. Next photo is from Bella. She did Virginia. Her photo pop up here. Bella, this is super cute. I love her sign. I also love the dress. The only thing I'd say is that maybe you could remove some of the flyaways near her bunny using the spot heel tool and also her left eye. It looks like she's missing half the eyelash. So maybe you could try a bit better tucking it in. So it's still, but it's still super cute. Our eighth photo today is from the model Kit, and her photo will pop up right here. Now, Kit did the state of Cincinnati, and she did the Cincinnati Reds football team, and I love this idea. I love those little pom-poms she's holding. I love how you put a little tape on her face to make it look like she's at the football game. I love how your backstory is that she's getting wild at the football game. Her outfit is really cute. It matches, like, the team's colors, and I think it looks really cute. So the only things that I have to say about this photo is that her eyes are not looking exactly at the camera, and maybe that's fine, but... Um, maybe it was like look she's looking at the game or something and also maybe you could have like put her in a stand instead of that background like with other fans and like something like that but still I think this photo is really cute and also maybe um, turn up um, saturation a little bit and just a little bit of shadows but overall I think you did a great job on this photo all right the next photo is from Kit she did Nebraska her photo pop up here Kit this is super cute I love the big red on the wall I also love how she's a football fan you did you also did a good job color changing the sweater because I know that original is a pink color the only couple of things is number one maybe you could brighten up her eyes a bit because they're a bit dark and number two one of the pieces of tape said neb go and I would have preferred if it said go neb but it's still super cute and Our ninth photo today is from the model Rebecca, and her photo will pop up right here. Now, Rebecca did the state of Tennessee, and I love this photo. I love how she has a little basket, and she's picking berries in the Tennessee countryside. Also, I noticed that the berries are, like, the right size for her, which I think is a good detail. I love her little cowgirl hat, and I love her outfit. It definitely looks um, country, and I think it looks super cute. The only things I'd have to say about this photo is that it's a little slanted so maybe just take it not so slanted and more straight and also it feels a bit blurry so maybe you could have just taken time to let the camera focus on her a bit and um the saturation is like not the greatest so you could just easily turn up the saturation she has a bit of hair in her face but that's not too noticeable also, maybe you could have added some extra things to clarify that it was the state of Tennessee without adding the text, because I feel like the text kind of takes away from the photo, so maybe you could have added some more, like, country things to the photo or something to make it look more like the state of Tennessee, but I still think you did a really good job on this photo. Expose from Rebecca. She did Tennessee. Rebecca, this is super cute. I love her cowgirl outfit. I also love how you made it look like our country gal. The only few things is, number one, you could zoom out a bit because you're cutting off her hat and the basket. It. Number two, her eyes are a bit dark, so maybe you could brighten those up a bit. And number three, there's some hairs in her face, so what you can do for most of it is spot heal it, and that'll get rid of most of seamlessly. But other than that, it's still super cute. Now our tint. Our tenth and final photo today is from the model Caroline, and her photo will pop up right here. Now, Caroline did the state of New York, and the little birds in the tree is um, New York's like bird, state bird, and then she's holding an apple that is um, New York's state fruit, and they are the big apple. And I love this photo. I love how crisp it is. The outfit is so cute. It looks so great, and I love her position that she's in. I think it dresses it up more instead of just standing there. And the color and lighting is absolutely amazing. The only things I'd have to say about this photo is that since it's, since it is New York, maybe you could have added some extra things to make it look like in New York. I know you have a lot of things like the Empire State Building maybe the Statue of Liberty, or maybe just like a little Statue of Liberty in her hand or something to clarify, I would immediately guess because I would not know that this was New York by just looking at the bird and the apple she's holding. I still love this photo. It's so cute. Her outfit looks so great with the wild and nature. Our next last photo is from She Did New York. Her photo pop up here. Caroline, this is super cute. I love her outfit. I also love how she's outdoors. The only thing I'd say is maybe you could have done a bit more for your state. Now, I know you can't go anywhere, but I think you could have probably gotten a bit more creative since it looked more like an outside theme than a home country slash state photo. So maybe you could just like do something else, but still super cute. 
so that was all the photos. I really hope you guys enjoyed and I hope that I wasn't too harsh. So now I will be turning it back over to Perky Tomato to announce next week's theme. Good luck everyone. Bye! Alright, so this week's theme might be a little trickier and it should take a little more time to think about it. So it is going to be black and white week. So no colors, just black and white. And you can do some amazing things with just black and white. I really want to see some creativity put into this photo. Um, you obviously have to edit it black and white. Um, yeah, like a filter or you can just turn down saturation all the way and I want to see some really cool ideas that you guys do. You can look up some some black and white photography on Google for like some examples and you could just like copy that or take it as some in inspiration. And the deadline that you need to get the black and white photo into me by is going to be June 20th at 12 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, which is Saturday. It's always going to be the upcoming Saturday at 12 p.m. Eastern Standard Time and several people, several people has have asked me when the PTGT video is going to come out now all my PTGT videos are supposed to come out on Sunday either if it's in the morning or late at night so um yeah so yeah guys that's basically it I hope you enjoyed this video and thank you so much to Ladybug the AGL6 for guest judging I'm so excited for this upcoming week's theme I can't wait to see what you guys do I'm really excited and I I'm sorry this video has been a little messy. It's just been a very busy day, but um, yeah. So if you enjoyed this video, make sure you like, subscribe, subscribe, comment down below because I love talking to you guys, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye. Enjoy the video. Watch my hair. Subscribe and like the video, and most of all, share the channel. I'm eating chips, by the way.